Hey everybody, Eric here, Nomadic Fanatic. Before we get back on the road, a little bit of dope moment from Nomadic Fanatic here. Um, well, I'm just gonna share with you my mistake here and maybe we can all learn from this. Uh, um, rubber, tires. It's important to know everything about your tires, right? Steering wheel, everything is a horrible vibration. Came out on the side of the road, checked my tire pressure, front, outside, inside dually, inside dually registering zero PSI, zero. Luckily, um, I've actually been to this shop before down the road, okay rubber tire, and uh, they took it off for me, took a look, pulled it off, found another nail in my inside dually. That'll be the third one in three years. It was uh, inside the tread back there, so they were able to uh, plug it up. But he called me over and showed me and said, bro, you need new tires, like immediately. I'm like, Psh, I just got brand new tires on those in 2019. He's like, well, that was three years ago. How long has it been? I mean, how many miles? So up until now, I would have told you I've got new tires on the RV. No, Eric, they're three years old. And how many miles have I put on this rubber? 57,000 miles. Yeah, these are not new tires, Eric. So we've got sidewall cracking on both this one and the inside dually. We've got thinner rubber on the inside. I don't have a picture of that, but it was a little scary. And uh, look, this shop was really, really nice to me. They took care of me. They only charged me 30 bucks for the plug. I said, will you please give me a quote on some new tires? And he said, yep. Yeah. They got me three different levels of tires and prices, and I said he can get them in tomorrow. Jeez, oh I gotta do it. I'm so embarrassed that I was not keeping track. Which brings us to the next point, tater tot. Many of you remember, just uh, in 2020, November of 2020, brand new tires on the car. I've only put 12,000 miles on the car, but guess what? Car tires, tread on the outside and inside is almost completely gone on the car but it's not just 12,000 miles driven. I've also towed it behind the RV during that time, 15,000 miles. So 27,000 miles on the car. Guys, I get around. <laughs> I get around. It is time. These tires are horrible. So here's what we're gonna do. I've got the AC running off solar right now, might as well, and I'm, I'm going to be uploading this video with some Nomad internet, link below in the video description. I just ordered 10 rubber tires, six for the RV, four for the car. They're going to be able to get them in tomorrow, get me in and out before 5 p.m. tomorrow, so this ends up being a, a two-day delay on my trip into California, but as a Nomad, there are two very important things that I consider to be something that cannot be overlooked rubber and brakes rubber and brakes eric and you know this and you know this man i just have been slacking like crazy and i lost track of the actual amount of time and the miles put on this rubber yikes so i'm doing the right thing i'm a little embarrassed guys remember to check your tires don't just think oh i just did that a couple years ago no figure out how many miles ago it was and check the condition of your tires. The kitties will be in here safe. I'll be waiting in the lobby and then we'll, then we'll get back on the road in this video. Almost forgot though, uh, in my uh, Slap City video, I showed that uh, Robert had found a, a new uh, zero calorie Bud Light. And uh, a couple people actually know, wrote in the comments that Eric, when you were in that little convenience store getting Bush Light, you literally walked by some. So before I left Slab City, I went and got that 12 pack of Bud Light Next. This was also, there was a Super Bowl commercial about this too. Um, as far as I know, this is the first time a beer is zero calories. It's still, yeah, zero carbs and 80 calories and 4% alcohol volume. It's different than the seltzer stuff, you know, but, and of course Budweiser is doing their whole uh, non-alcoholic beer, but what the heck, no. This has 4% alcohol volume, 
but zero carbs. Mm -hmm. No. No, 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 no. Bud Light. Bud Light. No, no. It's... Smell earlier. Something's wrong with this. Something is very wrong. All right, you got me good, Bud Light. I don't know if that's a late April Fool's joke or what's going on, but that is horrible. How do you even explain that? I don't know. Did anybody else make the mistake of trying that new Bud Light next? How do you explain that? The taste is. That's not pleasant. That's not pleasant at all. <sighs> Get a room, you two. Jeez. All right, just waiting for the phone call that my tires are in. Just finished a monster shopping day here at Walmart and we got a high wind advisory here in California. I mean, it's, it's really, really windy. And also, don't know if you can see off in the distance, maybe there's a better view how dusty and dirty it is throughout there. It's super nasty here in the desert today. Not raining, but ridiculously windy. So I'll keep putting away the groceries. Hey, Opie. Keep putting away the groceries and wait for that phone call for tires. All right, just got the phone call from the shop. They said my tires are in, come on over. We're gonna take this really, really slow, guys. I'm in no rush. And I may change my plans today based on this high wind because I, I just don't like driving in high winds. I'm, I'm a day behind, at least because of this, and now I may be two days, but that's okay. They obviously cannot fit my RV in the shop, so they want me to park in the parking lot use my leveling jacks to get up and get stabilized so they can just jack up each tire individually, unhook the car so they can take the car into the shop to lift that up and put the new rubber on. And uh, anyway, kitties get to stay in inside the RV. So that's a good thing. And yes, I'm running the air conditioner because I had to close all of the windows to keep the dust and debris out of the RV and then it got hot. <laughs> all right, just about out of here. He's got to put these two tires on. This is also a chance for me to check the brake pads on the rear and they still look okay fronts look okay so two more to put on here all the other tires are good look at that incredible tread holy cow <laughs> all right well it still stings the price but but i'm gonna get over it because we got all new good rubber let's look at tater tot oh i also forgot to tell you guys i got new uh, wheel covers the, the ones I had before were black. These ones are kind of glossy silver, which matches, hey, gloss silver. So new wheel covers and uh, yep, there's my new smart car tires. So we're good, but we got the Firestone nationwide warranty on 10 tires that I'm gonna have. The price, I didn't get the most expensive tires actually. If I had replaced Miranda's with the Firestones that were on it, it would have been $4,600 for six of those. I went with a medium one and we're getting out the door with 10 tires installed for $2,780. Ouch. We're gonna be eating a lot of Top Ramen this month, <laughs> but I feel better. The winds also died down, so we're gonna get ready to put the car back up to the, the RV and uh, hit the road and get a little bit farther west today. Hang on, before we leave this area, there's a Pilot with unleaded for $4.89. That's a good deal in California right now. I'm gonna go top off even though I'm fine because it's only gonna get more expensive when I get farther west. So I'm gonna go top off. Wind, you can see that palm tree in front of us. It's still kind of windy. straight uphill for half an hour here. I have no idea. 
uh, oh, that castle, like a castle up there. Uh, no idea what you call this pass, but in 11 years of traveling, I have never been up a pass like this ever in my life. And with the wind, <laughs> adds a adds a whole other element. It's just. It's the grade that never ends. I'm going 30 miles an hour. Look at these cars flying by me. 30 miles an hour, everything I can do. And um, actually the ground looks a little wet, like it had rained earlier. But, man. sun's out, drying the rain. What is it, a shell station, a truck stop? Well, you know what? It's a helicopter on the roof of the Chevron station. Oh, look at, look at this, look at this. What's this? Emergency high wind overnight parking? <laughs> Lord, help me. Gosh, I see these floodlights right here, so I'm gonna park right underneath this floodlight. I know it's gonna light me up like a Christmas tree tonight, but somehow that's gonna make me feel safer. We got the wind pretty much coming right at me, which will reduce the rocking tonight with the wind. Just looking at the branches, the wind's coming this way. So it'll be less this thing. I gotta make phone calls to the resort. Hey, this is Eric Jacobs. I am due to check in today, and um, I am not gonna make it. It is too dangerous to drive, but I'll be there tomorrow. Is that? Yeah. It's just, uh, I'm having a hard time driving and it's not safe. So I know I can't get a refund for tonight, but I will be there tomorrow, so can you just save my spot for tomorrow? Thank you. No problem. All right, bye. All right, no worries. Today is uh, frustrating. You know, I, ch I tried to do the right thing with getting the rubber. It screwed me up on my timing, and now it's just, I'm grumpy. I'm irritated. Tell you what we're gonna do, guys. It's cold. <laughs> it's cold. We went from mid 80s to uh, 3,800 feet elevation, and, and it's 48 degrees right now. I'm gonna unhook tater tot and I wanna go check out that castle thing we passed about 10 miles back. Uh, before we take the car out though, we look out my window. Well, let me show you a map of where I am right now. Can you see how close I am to the Mexican border? Well, you look out my window here. Look at that guy right there. Little border patrol there guy just hidden. Uh, just on the other side of those electrical poles is Mexico. I'm really, really close to Mexico, and uh, he's out on the he's on the prowl out there looking. Hmm. Also, this was awesome. I forgot to even tell you on the freeway, the hood on my smart car flew off. It's held with an emergency strap under here. It was just flailing around. It's got two locking pins on the front, and then it locks up in the hood. All four were ripped off by the wind. The only way I could get here was to duct tape the front latches inside on both sides. 11 years. Never seen anything like this as far as wind. Opie, you're going to be the man of the house while I'm gone, okay? No, I won't be gone that long, actually. Maybe just like, maybe just 30 minutes. I want to go check out that castle, okay? You take care of your sister, okay? No, okay, okay, I understand, I understand. It's not actually dinner time yet. Not quite, no. I'm not sure if it's a lot easier to drive the car. Well, actually, no, because now we've got those high gusts behind us pushing us. A little different. Yeah, that's probably why. I've got the alarms on in my RV. I can look at the cameras on the inside and the outside with my phone anytime I want. I feel secure. Everything's fine. Blah, blah, blah. Well, we just hit a sign. Seat truck speed limit 35. We're just starting to go downhill the other direction, which means when we start tomorrow, hopefully it'll all be downhill to San Diego. Um, this has got to be the closest exit, yeah. 
Incopa Park Road. Incopa Pa Road. Okay. Um, and my tire pressure light just came on after I hit that exit. I'll have to check PSI. They may not have given me enough juice in my tires and my brand new tires. I'll check that with my compressor. This road is so rough. What in the... We are looking at a bunch of weird garbage, guys. I'm just gonna... What? What in the world is a freaking alien? I don't know. Um, what's that sound? Hang on, I just heard something weird. What is that? Oh, yeah. Yeah, that's what I was hearing. A piece of plastic rattling around in there. Come on. That's ridiculous. All right. All right. Where's the freaking hole? There it is. All right. Let me back up see what that sign said. Welcome to Desert View Tower. Okay. Desert View Tower. That's the uh, castle I saw. See it up in the distance? So far, no signs of say private property or anything. These rocks are pretty cool. Look at these rocks. Wow, it's really cool. And are we gonna have a crazy view? Oh, it's pretty cool, yeah. Oh, this is weird. This is really weird. I absolutely hate wind, guys. I hate it. I hate wind. <laughs> Ridiculous. All right, so, nice view. Castle, don't know what it is or what it does. I'm going back to see the kitties, screw this. Plus I gotta check my tire pressure. Hang on, we're gonna battle the wind a little bit more. There's something weird up here. I think you call this jumping cactus, right? You wanna stay away from this kind of cactus, jumping cactus. This hose, it's leading up to what looks like a hot tub. Pretty strange. Please don't have any snakes or scorpions. They're doing something here. What? Oh, this is strange. What is that right there, guys? Yep, we're gonna do some climbing here. Oh my gosh, wind, please don't blow me over here. Look at that pipe. All right, this one here is a little, a little steeper here. Oh my gosh, don't look down, Eric. And it's windy. Give me a break. What the heck? Holy cow, it's windy. It's a hot tub. I found a hot tub, guys. Ugh, it doesn't smell very good, though. All right, long way down. The high wind warning that expired an hour ago has now been extended till noon tomorrow as well. I feel like I'm just, I feel like I'm just cursed here. I'm trying to figure out what I did wrong. I got a nail in my tire, and ever since then, it's just, I've just been having a really, really rough time. We're, we're gonna get through this, though. All right, everyone, it is dark outside now, and these floodlights that I said were outside, they're actually, um, remember when you go skiing and you have those really orange lights on, on the uh, snow? That's what these are. They're not very high-powered lights. They're not very bright, but but they're out there, and it's something a little better. The uh, Border Patrol guy's still over there. You probably can't see him. He's off in the distance with his parking. You can't see any of that. It's way too dark. Anyway, it's cold. It's going to be my last cold winter feel night. So brought out the uh, little Wave 3 heater for tonight so that I can keep that on overnight. And uh, then we can put it away for the season, probably. I'm not sure what I'm going to do just yet. Um, uh, after tonight and I wake up tomorrow, I may just put the cameras away tomorrow morning and book it to the coast because these last couple days have just not been my day. I have ups and downs just like anyone else. Uh, it's not just all vacation sometimes, you know, there's a lot that I have to think about and deal with and uh, the road is not always pleasant. It's not. Um, however, we, we, we made it through it pretty much. Uh, Anyway, I'm just going to cut this one off. I, I promise I will have a better video next time, guys. But thanks for sticking around, guys. Tara and Opie and I will see you in the next one. Please consider giving me a thumbs up on the video. Subscribe if you haven't already. Leave me a comment and tell me how you're doing. I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye-bye. <laughs>